my God. The play, the play, is called play. of the day. Runner left side, got it! I'm going to play it and play it. This is the play of the day. Check this out. Now right lane, Gallinari with his back to Hutchison. Turns, shoots, that's in and out. Thought about going down. Now Russell Westbrook does have his 10th rebound. So Russell Westbrook has done it. The unbreakable record has been broken. He now has the most career triple doubles in NBA history, 182. That's courtesy of the Wizards Radio Network. That record by Oscar stood for 47 years. Russ has triple doubles in five straight games. Has 36 on the season overall. That's 21 more than the next guy. The Joker has 15. Play of the day. Play of the day brought to you by Simply Safe. Isn't just award winning security systems. It keeps your family safe. They offer a team of highly trained security experts for when you need them the most. Go to simplysafedan.com today. Customize your system and get a free security camera. You know, it's a great achievement, but is Russ a great player? We'll talk about that a little bit more coming up at the top of the hour. And the triple-double, a lot of times, you know, when you hear some of the older players, you know, Willie Mays, Mickey Mantle, they probably would have said, wow, if 30-30 was a big deal, I would have done it every year. They weren't stat-conscious the way we are now. Everything is about stats. And, and, And it's easy to consume because it's perfect for social media. The triple-double. It wasn't called a triple-double when Oscar played. I think it became a triple-double maybe with Magic, certainly with Jay Kidd, but it wasn't a thing. Oscar just averaged double digits in points, rebounds, and assists. And growing up in Cincinnati where Oscar started, we just thought Oscar's just a great player. We didn't go, oh, he's better than Jerry West because he averages a triple-double. If Oscar averaged, I don't know, 39 and 9, same player, any different? But we didn't have the term triple double back then. It was just Oscar was great. I, I, I never gave it pause where I went, he's averaging double digit rebounds. It's just you watched Oscar play and you knew that he was one of the great players in the game. Will Chamberlain probably averaged a triple-double in points, rebounds, and blocks. Will once led the league in assists. I mean, there's these statistical anomalies, and we fall in love with that. Is Russ a great player? Does he help his team win? Would you want him as your teammate? Those are things that I think are fair to the conversation, if you're going to say he belongs in there as the second greatest point guard of all time. Now, statistically, if you want to put him in there over John Stockton or Isaiah Thomas or whoever it might be, do you want to play with that player? James Harden wanted out of Houston. Kevin Durant wanted out of Oklahoma City. Russ was with both of those guys. Russ got traded for John Wall. When's the last time you watched John Wall in a game? I love watching Russell Westbrook play. I, I, the fact that every, every single, not every single game, every single possession, it feels like it's the most important thing in his life. But is that a good thing? Ball dominant, probably more ball dominant than anybody in the history of the game. Let that sink in. He's got the ball. Do we diminish the triple-double now because it's Russell Westbrook, whereas we celebrated? The reason why Oscar is a top-10 player is in part due to the triple-double. Because we went, oh my God, he averaged a triple-double. He's got to be one of the great players of all time. And Oscar is. But is he one of the top 10 players? Is Russell Westbrook going to be one of the top 25 players of all time? And he probably will be. I got a list of players going top players, according to ESPN.com, coming into this season. 
You know I love a good list here. This is coming into this season. LeBron is one, Anthony Davis two, Giannis three, Luka four, Kawhi, Kevin Durant, Dame Lillard, Steph Curry, James Harden, and the Joker. You have to go all the way to 36th to find Russell Westbrook. He's just above Marcus Smart. I don't think Russ made the All-Star team this year. It's a it's a it's a great accomplishment. It truly is to do this for your career, but I don't know if he's one of the great point guards of all time. Fascinating? Yes. Statistical anomaly? Yes. Is he a great player? Do you want him on your team? Games on the line, big possession. And look, I, I, I don't put all the blame on him, what happened with OKC, but it feels like Kevin Durant was like, I'm not winning a title with this guy. Let me go see if I can pick off one or two with Golden State. James Harden, he wanted Russell Westbrook, and then he didn't. Now he's in Washington. Like If there's a b- basketball purgatory, it's pretty close. Like, you at least pass through Washington with their basketball team <laughs> before you get to basketball purgatory. Maybe Sacramento. Yes, McLovin. I think one of the, the criticisms, when he misses, it's just so bad. <laughs> you know, it's not like it goes in and out. Like, it'll hit, like, the lower side of the room. Like, last night is game-winning shot attempt, attempt with no title. I mean, it's just a clank. He's a scorer, not a shooter. Now, I hear this. Boy, if he could shoot, he'd be... Okay. (laughs) Okay, yeah, all right. If he could, but he can't. We'll talk a little bit more about this coming up. And your phone calls on Tim Tebow. People got their opinions on Tim Tebow. Watch what you're saying about Tim Tebow. 